correct that you have declined to address the Carbine Club lunch because it still doesn't have female members? I got back last night. I, I'm a bit confused about that. I mean, clearly we we're in discussions with them and I don't know that a final decision has been made. I spoke to Graham Halbish the day I left to go away and I thought we, we had a broad understanding and I'll circle around with him today. So, so will you not address it if they haven't got female members? Um, well, clearly there has to be, you know, um, yeah, if not female members, an articulation of female members coming in. So that's what we've been discussing and, I, and there's a bit in the technicality. So I'll pick it up with Graham. I mean, I, my understanding was that they were heading down that path and we're going to make some announcements. So I was a, I'm a bit confused about today and we'll, we'll pick it up with Graham. So you know, our position was, was pretty clear, Neil, is that I don't have a, an issue per se about men's or women's clubs. It's just that this is in grand final week and there's a, you know, one of our key functions. And so we wear our pushes around you know, a diverse, inclusive game and, and where we are now with the women's league, it's hard to uh, partner with a, 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 a lunch group that has the ability to have female members but doesn't. But we've had really good conversations. They've been really accommodating to our views and have been working towards that. So I'm not quite sure where it's at. I haven't rounded out with them, and I'll pick it up with them today. Former Brownlow medalists are usually invited to the Brownlow over a year. Will Joe Watson be invited? Uh, yes. I haven't thought about it, but yes. I mean, unless there's something changed between now and then, but my, you know, but yes. Is there likely to be a decision on his Brownlow this season? There'll be no decision made uh, prior to the CAS appeal, which I don't know when and we don't know when it's going to be handed down. Okay, so he'll be there. Um, Thursday night final, sounds like it's going to happen. Will it, where would you prefer it played? Melbourne, Perth, Adelaide, where? Well, it depends where it comes out. I think your Thursday night final in Perth or, and or Adelaide would be great. I think, uh, yeah, I think Adelaide would be amazing yeah, to kick off the final series, but uh, we'll see. Sorry, just further to Joe, I just got a message from a, a listener. Can he attend an AFL function if he's a, suspended? Because um, he can't turn up to Essen, he can't turn up to training. Yeah, he might have got that call. Might have got me. It's, I'll take that on notice. He might not be able to. Um, um, be a pity, wouldn't it? Yeah, good question. So, yeah, if if he's able to, he'll be there. If not, well, nothing you can do. Nothing I can do. If, if, if he's still, but no, but they but they actually come. They come out of suspension. Neil, uh, is it the week before the final series? Do they? So he might have finished. It was 52 weeks from when yeah. they... Yeah. I'll come back to that. It's a good, it's a good question by the caller. We're talking a lot about uh, Vietnam veterans this week, and I've floated the idea of a Vietnam veterans round. Is that worth exploring or not? Too specific. Potentially. I, I think that the Anzac Day round gives a fabulous envelope to um, celebrate all veterans. Um, now we talk specifically around the Anzac Day and, and, and the invasion but I think that we celebrate through the course of that weekend the service and sacrifice oh, of that's our... that's true. Yeah. That is true. That's, the RSL supports the idea. The, 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 the part of the argument being these blokes are still alive. Uh, you know, we're, we're losing World War II veterans. A lot of Vietnam veterans still, and still these ghosts to chase away about the way they were treated when they came home. If we need to do a bit more during that weekend to, to focus on that, I reckon that'd be a really good conversation to have. Uh, salary cap going up 1.3 million, correct? Uh, no, it hasn't been hasn't been finalised, negotiated. We're, we're in um, discussions with the Players Association and working through it. And, the, and now, this, as I my Briefing is that the conversations have picked up momentum and are going okay. Ron Barassi's memorabilia, I, I got the program for it yesterday, it's coming up for sale pretty soon. You and I have talked before about the possibility of Paul Little putting together, former Essendon chair, yep. putting together a little group of people to buy it and you said you'd be happy to display it. Has it got any further? I've spoken to Paul um, and you know, we were, he was sort of working and had come back with uh, what the numbers look like and where and how in the process, and I haven't spoken to him since then. So, you know, we sort of understand, think it's got merit to, to have a discussion about, and we haven't picked up since then. I read that you're planning to hijack the opening weekend of the NRL finals, is that right? How? I don't, I don't know. There's only one game, wasn't there? I, d I don't know. I don't even know what that means. You don't care? You don't want to hijack the NRL? <laughs> no, I don't, want to. I don't want to hijack anyone. We're just playing our game. Women's footy, you've released the rule. They're using a smaller football than the men. Why is that? Smaller hands. And smaller bodies, yeah. Mm. So, um, you know, we, we, the, 
the they're playing our game, but they are different physio- physiologically, and so that we're working with them on what that looks like. Linda de Sau, yes, I was an AFL commissioner. She's now under uh, quite some pressure in the governor's role, which I made the point earlier. I think it's unfair. I've sat with her on AFL committees, and I've known her a long time. I don't think she's a diva. What's your impression of her? I think she she made an extraordinary contribution contribution to our game. She's done a hell of a lot in her career um, and been dedicated on a number of fronts, charities, you know, AFL Commission and others. And in my experience, she's just been a first-class woman. I agree. And I've got to ask this because otherwise I'll be sacked. Have you done a deal on the radio right yet? Um, no deal's done. Uh, Finalised all of the... Um, wheeling and dealing with the team they were doing it did, uh, as I understand it, yesterday. I got a briefing about half an hour ago. They're writing that recommendation up and I reckon the deal will be done. It's got to go to the, for, to the board right. for a resolution. We're, so, doing, we're doing all right, are we? We're um, right. We'll see. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, you won't mind it to you. You don't call the footy. Coming up, Big Maxie. Love Maxie Gorn. Maxie. <laughs> Big Maxie. Gil McLaughlin, thank you. <laughs>